So take a minute. I want you to speculate on, like, imagine this is a mechanism. A mechanism is what are all the steps that would have to take place for a molecule to change shape? And, and actually, if you can think through that process, if you can imagine that, you know, a molecule might look something like this, it has maybe a sticky part here that will actually bind to another molecule. If that molecule binds, the act of binding causes the original molecule to change shape. Sometimes the shape change is very subtle. Sometimes the shape change is, like, extreme, like, whoa, like that thing, it's not even the same molecule that it started looking out like. Did you follow what I just said? Depend, regardless, with a new shape, a new structure, it now is going to have a new function. We're differently shaped. Now we're going to do something different. Sometimes we're differently shaped, and we can't do the job that we were doing before. One of the things that's true, protein in particular, is a molecule Protein molecules are often, um, the shape of a protein molecule is affected by heat or pH. And so if you add heat to a particular protein, it will change its shape. And sometimes it, it changes its shape so much that it, like, becomes a cooked egg instead of an egg white. And you actually can't reverse that. That's why if you, if your body temperature goes too high, your proteins will change shape. And when they change shape, maybe they won't function anymore. And that's, like, game over. Like, brain damage, game over. It's like, what, 106 degrees if your temperature goes up to 106 degrees Fahrenheit for, like, two hours or something. I don't know what it is. I'm not a medical doctor, so don't take any advice from me, like, ever. But you can have end up with brain damage that is irreversible because you've changed your proteins in such a dramatic way. So we're going to look at, we're going to remind ourselves of protein structure. Proteins are our little mechanical machines in our cells. They do most of the work of our cells. So when we're going to look at, like, how does that happen? We're going to probably look at a protein that is going to be changing its shape. So let's remind ourselves, hopefully you did this in Bio 1, but let's remind ourselves of what proteins actually look like. 